change is scary. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to make a change, especially when you love what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. So what, what advice do you have for people that want to repot? Well, I think change is scary. I mean, I have found that I spent a lot of my life not wanting to change. And then yeah. when it came, it came like an avalanche. Yeah. And it was terrifying. And I found that actually in shifting my mind to like change is inevitable. I'm strong enough to manage change. I can learn from change. I can do change. That has made me calmer in the face of change because change is inevitable. Yeah. I feel like people, when they look at you, they define you in so many ways. They uh -huh. define you by your family. They mm -hmm. define you by your former spouse. They define yeah. you by your work. <laughs> and you're so much more than all of that stuff. I feel like those are all electrons circling around you, mm -hmm. but you are yourself, basically. Yeah, I am Maria, and I think for it's taken me a really long time to get to that. I used to bristle when people, you know, would define me by my family or define me by my ex-husband or define me by anything other than myself, and then I defined myself, not by myself. Yeah. So actually change brought me face to face with myself and allowed me to get underneath of what was I mad about? What was I so scared about? What had I buried? Who had I buried? Well, you and, just said I am Maria, yeah. which is the title of your new book of poems. I was going to say, you're doing uh, something. She's brave, scary. and so are you. Thank you. Talk about what, what's happening. Well, I have a book coming out in April. It just came up for pre-order. It's called I Am Maria. and Which it's, is a brave title, right? I, yeah. well, you, I didn't think about it being brave, but actually I feel brave in saying yeah. it because um, it's taken me a really long time, as I said, to be able to say, I am Maria, and that's enough. And to feel like that was enough, because people would always, when I was smaller, they're like, yeah, but which Kennedy are you? Yeah. I don't know, I'm Maria. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, no, 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 but <laughs> you're somebody else. Yeah, yeah, right? And I think that everybody has a version of that, right, in their own life. And so I think coming to that in poetry, uh, allowed me to actually sit in silence. And when I started writing poetry, this whole other version of myself came up and my childhood came up in a really deep and somewhat dark way and a really scary way, but it's allowed me to make sense of my life. And so I would encourage people to try poetry and see what comes up. It's a great healing tool and anybody can do it. I'm a big believer, anybody can write. It doesn't make sense and it doesn't have to. Well, oh I gosh. felt like I knew you very, very well and then I read your poetry. And it was next level. It was a whole part of you that I, yeah. had, I had no idea about. It's a beautiful book. People should pre-order yes. it. The book is called I Am Maria, and it's available right now anywhere where you get your books at also at today.com. Yes, you books. guys pre-order yes. it. Can, I cannot wait to read it. I love you, Maria. I love you.